Yeah, so uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, uh, we worked. We began uh, discussing with Google about the fact that there really wasn't any visibility into the YouTube universe. So everyone within the space was measuring YouTube at a top line level and understanding total viewership of YouTube. But what lacked and what didn't exist was visibility into the specific audiences garnered by the partners on YouTube. Uh, so while you could understand that there were X million people viewing YouTube videos as a whole, you didn't know how many viewers were actually viewing Revision 3 videos, or Howcast videos, or Smosh videos um, within that YouTube universe. And what we realized was the YouTube universe is half of the addressable online video advertising realm. Um, so half of it was going unmeasured. Uh, therefore, we began working pretty closely with YouTube to implement our unified digital measurement methodology, uh, which, can, which combines census level tags, uh, which give us accuracy, and panel level information, with, which gives us audience information, uh, and use that methodology to dig into the YouTube universe and expand measurement of it into every corner of the partner program. So tell us about what is known now through this process and maybe what publishers have learned and, yeah. and, the, and the scope of the information that, that you're able to provide them now. Men spend 82% of the time viewing Revision 3's content, uh, which I think is a really powerful statistic that is a good example of the types of information that this uh, measurement capability can provide. Uh, additionally, uh, a company like How Howcast, uh, where a vast majority of their syndication comes through the YouTube universe, 70%, uh, uh, I don't know if that's the exact number, but about 70% uh, of their audience has children in the household. Um, and those are valuable insights that we are now able to provide to agencies, advertisers, and brands about partners on YouTube, which I think is going to uh, dramatically help them to monetize their content. Okay, so how does this work for the partners, uh, the, the media partners on YouTube, the channel partners? Mm -hmm. Do they get this information because they're partners and they have to pay Comscore to subscribe? How does that work? Or do the agencies get it? Or how does that, how yeah. does that work? So uh, here at Comscore, our, our sort of first and foremost goal is to support the industry. Um, our sort of mantra is if we can support the industry and help it grow as much as possible, then we are indirectly helping ourselves. Um, so I sort of see our development uh, regarding video metrics and online video measurement to be purely focused on helping the industry. Um, so as a result of that, we've set the policy that we are actively going to be reporting all YouTube partners out to the agencies, advertisers, and brands that use our data to decide where to place money online. Um, and that's going to actively help those audiences that these partners have been able to achieve uh, to be monetized and be discovered by these agencies, uh, whereas formerly they weren't. So because of that, um, as I mentioned, we feel like we have an obligation to report everyone. And that's what we're doing. Um, so whether you work with us or not, if you're a YouTube partner, uh, we will be reporting you, uh, unless you specifically come to us and say, hey, I absolutely don't want to be reported, at which point you know, we can discuss that. Um, and that's, that's free. Uh, we're not charging people for that. Um, what we are doing is saying, you know, if you want visibility, uh, if you're a YouTube partner, and you want visibility into your audience, and you want to be able to speak the language that the agencies, advertisers, and brands are using, and un understand what they are viewing, and understand the entire YouTube universe of your peers and competitors, you can subscribe to Comscore's reports uh, within Video Metrics and understand that. So Dan, let me understand. Uh, the announcement about the 50 partners, these are the bigger partners in beta existed, but what's mm -hmm. happening now is a much bigger universe of partners. Tell us sort of what the next step is and what's happening. Yeah, so uh, over the past year, we've been developing this uh, capability with YouTube. Uh, and again, this capability that takes census level uh, measurement with panels so that we have 100% accuracy and the depth and granularity that a panel-based source can provide. And we've been spending the past year in validating that with about 50, part, uh, 50 beta partners. Um, so we've been working through that with them, working out the kinks. Um, when you take uh, data sets that are as large as what we're working with and as complex as what we're working with, it takes some time to sort of iron out those kinks and build the processes. We've now done that. Uh, and so this month, uh, in mid-August, we released that data for those 50 beta partners. Uh, but what we've done additionally, and over the course of that time, is, as I mentioned, make sure that that functionality, that development, those processes that we've built can be scaled out to the entire YouTube universe. Uh, the YouTube partner universe. And so here with August data now in September, uh, so August data that we will be releasing in September, uh, we now have the ability and are comfortable with the accuracy and the confidence in the data to release uh, data for the entire YouTube partner universe. 
So the tens of thousands of partners that have really been able to get these very niche audiences, uh, and and that gets me excited uh, because um, the <laughs> the the characteristics of these audiences and the uniqueness and the nicheness and yet the scale of them is so powerful for advertisers, agencies, and brands. And it has gone thus far fairly untapped. Uh, and so with Comscore measurement now, these audiences are going to be discoverable. And I think we're going to see that bring in a substantial amount of revenue into the YouTube universe.